everyone. For this tutorial, you will need some 2 inch or 50 millimeter satin or gross grain ribbon in black and red, a size 30 or 3 quarter inch cover button kit, a black flower stamen, some black fabric paint, a hot glue gun and some glue, some fray check or a lighter, and some tweezers. You'll need to cut two 2 inch by 2 inch or 5 centimeter by 5 centimeter squares from your black ribbon, and then two 2 inch or 5 centimeter squares from your red ribbon. Use the black fabric paint and a small paintbrush to paint small polka dots all over both of your red ribbon squares and then let them dry completely before you continue on to the next step. Now use a lighter or some fray check to seal the raw edges of your ribbon just to prevent them from fraying. Take one of your red squares and fold the top point down to the bottom. You want the right side out, so the good side of the paint facing outwards. And then fold each side point down to the bottom center point. Use your fingers to hold the bottom edges together tightly and fold the sides backwards. And use your tweezers to hold the end of the wing tightly and trim off about a quarter of an inch or six millimeters from the end. Apply a small line of hot glue to those cut edges and then squish that glue between your fingers for a few seconds till it hardens into a flat glue tag and then trim off the excess glue. Turn the wing over and apply small dots of hot glue to each of the side points and then fold those points in towards the center and just press them for a few seconds to keep them in place. Now repeat all of those steps with the remaining red square to complete the other wing. Compare both of the wings and make sure they're pretty close in size and shape. If one is a little bigger than the other, you can always re-trim it and reseal it again. Now start the same way with your black square. Fold the top point down to meet the bottom point, And fold both of the side points down to meet the center bottom point. Pinch both of the sides backwards and use your tweezers to hold the ends tightly and trim off a quarter of an inch or six millimeters 
and then seal it with the hot glue, the same way we did with the wings. Now trim off that excess glue tag, and that's all you need to do for the body of your ladybug. Apply a small line of hot glue to the body of the ladybug close to the sealed edges and attach one of the wings. Then repeat that on the other side to attach the other wing. Make sure both of the wings are centered and even on the body. Remove the wire loop from the back of the cover button if it has one. And then place your remaining black square onto the tool and the top of the cover button. I find that if I'm using grass grain ribbon, it can be really hard to snap the button into the tool, so I use the bottom of my pliers to really push it into place. And then straighten out all of the ribbon and make sure nothing is caught and it's all even. And trim off the excess ribbon. And then push all of the leftover ribbon down into the top of the cover button. And then snap the bottom of the cover button into place. Fill the back of the cover button with hot glue and then turn the cover button so that the grain of the grass grain or the ridges appear diagonal and center it over the body and the wings and press it down firmly to keep it in place. Take your black flower stamen and cut it in half. Now decide how long you want the antenna to be. I like mine to be about three quarters of an inch or two centimeters, so I trim them just a little bit more. Now place a small dot of hot glue on the back of the head of the ladybug and insert the ends of each of the antenna, keeping them centered and even lengths. To use this ladybug for a hair clip, I'm using a two and a half inch alligator clip and five inches of three eighths inch grass grain ribbon, and I've already heat sealed both the ends. Apply a thin line of hot glue to one third of the ribbon, and then press it onto the inside of the bottom of the clip making sure that it's centered and no glue is showing. And 
then apply hot glue to the second third of the ribbon. And press that down over the top of the alligator clip. And apply glue to the last of the ribbon and tuck it down and around the handle. Now decide which way you want the ladybug to be facing. And apply a small dot of hot glue to the center of the back of the ladybug. Make sure that you don't put the ladybug over the handle of your clip or you'll squish the ladybug every time you try to open it. And that's it, your ladybug is done. If you'd like to see how I make a slightly fancier variation of this ladybug, then keep watching. I made this ladybug out of shiny satin ribbon and I didn't make any polka dots with the fabric paint. Instead, I'm going to be using these tiny black gems. I'm also using E6000 liquid glue and I filled a syringe with it and attached a skinny needle point just to make it easier to apply it to the back of the tiny gems.
now just for an extra little sparkle, I'm going to use one of these tiny little bow gems and just place it off the side of the ladybug head. All done. Thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to like and subscribe and let me know what you thought of the video down in the comments below.